Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the factorial. Itong topic na to ay para sa mga grade 10 students natin. By the way, shout out sa lahat ng mga grade 10 students natin who are constantly watching our videos across YouTube and Facebook. So, ginawa ko itong video na to kasi in prepara preparation for the third quarter topics ng mga grade 10 dahil this third quarter, ang mga topic nyo is under permutation and combination. We're in factorial is a must topic or a must kill na dapat matutunan nyo dahil isa to sa mga kailangan yung gamitin when it comes to permutation and combination. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So basically, uh, let us define first what is factorial. A factorial or the factorial function is a way to multiply all whole numbers from our chosen number down to 1. So, may, syempre, di ba, hindi ganun kadali yung intindi yung ating definition. Let me give you the concept of factorial. Let's say, for example, I have the factors of 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, ang factorial kasi, it is a shorthand way on how to write this kind of factors. Yung 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 natin, in factorial notation, is simply equivalent to 4, 4 factorial. Gamit yung symbol na to. So again, ito yung mas madaling way para isulat yung 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 4 factorial. Now, para mas maintindihan niya pa yung mismo concept ng factorial, let me give you some basic examples that I have here on my screen or on my board para ma-practice natin on how to simplify factorial notation. So we have here 5 factorial wherein to simplify this or the value of 5 factorial is the same as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And when you multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 5 factorial is simply equivalent to 120. Ito yung value na ating 5 factorial. Now, let's move on with item number 2. Sir, 8 factorial. Paano ngayon yung ating 8 factorial or what is the value of 8 factorial? Ang 8 factorial natin is equivalent to 8, starting from 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Hanggang 1 tayo. From the chosen number 8 up to 1. And multiplying this number, this will give you 40,320. Okay? Ganun lang simple yung ating factorial. So let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, ang 0 factorial ay isipin nyo 0 times 1. O, is, tandaan nyo lang to na ang 0 factorial in factorial notation is equivalent to 1. Ito yung mga unique, isa sa mga unique way, a uh, unique uh, property na factorial. So let's move on with item number 4. In item number 4, we have 2 factorial and 5 factorial. So diba, isipin nyo, ay sir, ang hirap naman yan, hindi naman po ganun kahirap yan. Following the pattern of factorial, mag-focus na muna dito, your 2 factorial is equivalent to 2 times 1. And for your 5 factorial, that is equivalent to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Wherein, alam natin na ang 5 factorial natin or ang 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 120. So you have 120. Tapos, yung 2 times 1 mo is equivalent to 2. So meaning, ang 2 factorial natin times 5 factorial is 2 times 120 or simply 240. Ito ngayon yung value ng ating 2 factorial times 5 factorial. In the next part of our video, I will give you more expressions where it involves factorial na kung saan ito yung mga may encounter nyo uh, in your permutation and combination topics. Now for our next example, ito yung mga possible expressions na may encounter nyo uh, sa permutation and combination. So we have here 8 factorial over 5 factorial for number 5 wherein 
given those examples kanina from numbers 1 to 4, ang gagawin natin dito is that you have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Kasi yun yung ating factorial over your 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 as your 5 factorial. We're in, tama naman pa yung ginagawa natin dito. But, para magkaroon tayo ng mas mixing time, I recommend na ito nilang gawin nyo. Kasi yung ginawa natin kanina na 8 hanggang times 1 tapos yung 5 times 1 is the same as writing as just given as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Sir, bakit po tayo next stop sa 5 factorial? Kasi you have your 5 factorial in your denominator. Or in, if meron kang 5 factorial sa yung denominator, you can cancel out or you can eliminate 5 factorial here and here. So, cancel natin ito. And then, you still have 8 times 7 times 6, which, which is equivalent to 336. May mas maiksi kasi tayong way para isolve yung gantong klaseng given sa factorial. So, let's move on with item number 6. For item number 6, ang gagawin ko dito as a student, kung ako estudyante, we have here 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. I will eliminate 3 factorial by expressing my 6 factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Okay? Over, yung 2 factorial natin can be expressed as 2 times 1. Tapos yung 3 factorial is simply as 3 factorial. Where in, kung mapansin nyo, you have your 3 factorial in your numerator and you also have your 3 factorial sa inyong denominator. So you can eliminate this one. Yan. Pero huwag nyo muna i-simplify. Kasi meron ka ditong 2. And then you have here your 4. You can simplify your 2 and 4 where in ito yung magiging 2, ito yung magiging 1. Okay? So for your numerator, you have 6 times 5 which is 30 times 2, it will give you 60 over 1 times 1, that is 1, or 60. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin sa item number 6. So I hope na natuto kayo sa ating tutorial about factorial, wherein if you have any question or any topic, suggestion na gusto nyo i-cover natin sa ating YouTube channel, you can comment down below. And I hope na makapag-leave kayo ng comment about this tutorial, kung nakatulong ba siya or hindi. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!